wait, it was just around the river bend. You see baby Suwon, hold on, hold on. This, if you, if you haven't been watching, this is water and shade, we're roll drunk, we're wheel drunk, we're wheel drunk. Wheelie drunk. We're wheel drunk. And we're drinking some more. So basically, we're gonna just recap water, this episode. The episode of Wheel of Time, not water and shade. Episode six. Episode six, blood calls blood. No. No. The flame of Tarvalon. <laughs> okay. This is like talking about. three sheets to the wind. I don't know where that expression comes from, but fish guts, we're gonna do it. And we're, we're drinking wine. This is Wheel of Wine. Go subscribe to our Patreon. There's information down there. Down there. Let's talk about episode six. So, yeah, we start off just around the river bend. And you see a small hut, a jungle hut. And there is a sweet young girl sleeping in a hammock. And her dad comes in and he's like, hey, let's go catch the fish. And she says, bastards. And then they go fishing. Bastard fish. And then you find out that he doesn't have a hand. And she helps him untie his knot with one power. And he's like, honey, we don't do that here. The mean tyrants are going to find out and they're going to take you away. So you don't share around here. Take it away, mom. So then... They come back to shore to find their house has been burnt down to the ground. And there's, and there's a dragon fan. Which we have it's, learned. It's like, it's like, it's like this, this, this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, okay, that happened. And then I don't remember what happened. What happened next? And then the hut was burnt down. So the dad was like, you gotta go away go away for a very long time yes and, and don't come back and it was very emotional they don't like you and he said they don't like you here he said that she is clever as a pike and i don't know anything about pike we can't test how clever a pike is because they don't speak english yes yes and we don't know it's not it's not a, a an objective test so basically they uh they send suan off they being dad i don't know his gender he's they and then he's a day. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He was like, bye, bye honey. Dad. She's like, what's happy gonna happen Hanukkah. to you, daddy? And she, happy he's, Ramadan. She says, bye. I don't know. Okay. And then the title credits. Yes, and the title credits, and then we sang Wheel of Time because that's the song that should have been sung. Save my soul, find a way. And if I fail, will it all be over? A wheel of time. That's the actual title credits. I put my own music in there because the music that's there is fine, but it's not Blind Guardian's Wheel of Time. Something yeah, happens. I feel like we're in the happens. tower. Like the I tower. we're in Tarvalon. Yeah, we're in Tarvalon. We are in Tarvalon. And, the, oh, no, 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 because, um, Moraine is like in her snatched blue gown, and her waist she, is snatched that's right, that's right. They're in front of the Amarillin seat, but they're, yeah. she's not there yet. And they're calling the Amarillin. They're, they're standing like, there, comes. and Chan Garcia is like poof, 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 poof. the Watcher of the Seals, the Flame of Tarval, and the Amarillin seat. She comes, she comes. Mother yeah. has arrived. Mother has arrived. Mother comes she in. She, in the is she is serving fish. She is serving Amarlin realness. Oh. And I don't mean fish in the sense of like lady. I mean the fish in the sense of her her Mama. things looks like it looks like fish scales. Cause she's tyrant. Get it? She is serving cunt. She oh. So, Moraine, Good. Moraine is there, and she's like, talk. I didn't, she won't look at her in the eye. She's like, oh, I'm so ashamed. And then they, she's, they bring in Loghain, that's right. They bring it, bring in Loghain. Loghain comes in, and he's like, My he's like, yeah, I killed your girl. They're all for me. I killed that bitch. I killed that, I, I killed, killed that, that bitch to the bitch. wall. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh. So that happens, Scandalous. and then Moraine, um, no, Swan's Swan. like, Swan's like, Leandrin, why did you gentle him? 
And Landrin's like, well, Moraine has a secret puppy under her bed and she can channel real yeah. far. So she throws focus to Moraine. And then Moraine's like, what the fuck, Leandrin? Like, I had your back, bitch. Yeah. Like, like I a stood blue up for you, spoke bitch. for the red. And they were a like. A blue spoke for the red. And like, this is like unheard of. This is like end time shit. And I did that for you. And you do this to me. And then you tell me. The you tell the Armorlin about my secret super channeler. The shade. The shade. The fucking shade of it all. Bitch. I got a burp. Okay. And then, and then the Amberlin is like. Bitch, what you do? What you do? Oh, no, 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 we forgot like, about Logan. Oh, me? We forgot Logan. Oh, so Logan was like crying. Like, he was like, please me. just please kill just me because this is the worst and you're all bitches. And, and she's and like, like, I'm we're gonna, gonna study you. you like you're an experiment. Go have fun and living in the brown quarters, bitch. Yeah. And she's the like, the browns are gonna take care of you now. Anyway. Okay, so then he leaves, and then they have that conversation about like, yeah, well, Maureen did this, which is very cunty. This. And then this is like my favorite part. It's like, like, so I was like, question. This is like, well, I don't. Then just like, well, I don't think you're questioning her enough because you used to be a blue. And the armorlet is uh, of all Ajahs and none, and so that is like really I shady. Love you. Do it. It's a fucking power move from Leandrin. Oh, it is. People do not appreciate the fucking power move that that cunt Leandrin just pulled, and it was immaculate. I love her. Leandrin is I great. Love. And she keeps calling Moraine old friend. Old friend. Like, <laughs> like they didn't used to get dirty in the novice quarters. So, who happened next? Okay, like you're in No, 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 I forgot. So, Swan was like, Maureen, uh, no, Leandrin was like, why have you been out of the tower for two years? Like, what are you doing? And What are you doing? And Maureen's like, I don't know. No. I wasn't doing anything. And then Maureen and Swan asked her like, hey, why the fuck were you out for so long? And it's like a really pointed question. Maureen's like, I can't answer. And so Swan's like, Okay, well, I guess you're in trouble because this is insubordination and you're supposed to answer me when I ask you a question. So I'm gonna basically yeah, like- Yeah, now. Uh, you're in trouble. So I'm gonna think on it tonight and then I'm gonna tell you what your penance is tomorrow. So penance is typically being sent to the farm or getting a good old spanking. Mortification of the flesh. They really like spanking in real time. I'm they looking do. forward to that. There's a reason I read Wheel of Time, and it's like... There's a lot of nudity, and a lot of spanking. Then we're in the bus, and there's boobs. There's, there's like so three of them. There's like three there's boobs. There's like three pairs of boobs. There's like some biggie boobs, some middly boobs, and some smally boobs. Yes. So there's like quite a few pairs of boobs, and we see a little bit of moraine curvature of the butt, but we don't quite see the line, which is disappointing. She has because a beautiful the shape. The crack is very important in the bottom. But we do see a little bit of the curvature of the bottom. She has a great and body. That's, in, that's, that's important to the story. It's important to the story. <laughs> I don't know how, the the but butt. it's important. It's so important. my young comes and in and she's like, comes, and she's, she's, she's naked. Maureen, I'm Scottish for some reason. I'm Scottish and I like Lawrence Cheney. I don't know how to do Scottish accent. So she's like, we're sending you away from the tower. And Maureen's like, what the fuck, why? And she's like, well, you're a blue and you need to help in the tower. And Maureen's like, I'm digging this like power lesbian vibe you've got, but okay, whatever. Well, then we get a little, a little ba -ba. we also get a little hint of what's happening on the West Coast. Which is the best coast. Ships are going missing over Some there. Some ships are going missing and that's and like- the Isle of Crossing over here. And the Blue Aja, which are the spies, they have to go over there and spies see girls. what's going on. And then they find out what's going on and- <laughs> I'm laughing at my own joke. Lorraine, Maureen has to stay in the tower because she's been a brat. That is cool. She's a Scottish <laughs> that. power lesbian in that power lesbian <laughs> outfit, those pants. That short haircut, oh, it's beautiful. So, Henny. she, they, they're naked. And then I oh. don't care. They're naked, and it's very important to note that they are naked. They're in the back. Then, there's a, yet, like the then there's a yellow flower on Moraine's uh, towel because 
Penny, I saw it the ass and I was like, <laughs> and you gave her a flower for it. So You're like, I appreciate flash. good work, madam. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. You can bring your water along too. So then, then, where do we go next? Um, no, she's having tea. That's right. She's having tea. She's having a nice cup of tea. And then she finds out that the, somebody's, land comes and he's like, and then she's like, okay. So they go and there's this beautiful, it's exactly the way I pictured the yellow quarters to be. It's beautiful. It's light and airy and full of plants. And she goes to the yellow quarters and she sees Egwene and Perrin and they're like, oh my God, we're in your life. And she's like, what's wrong with Perrin? And, Mar and Egwene's like, oh, well, he can talk to wolves. So that's a problem. And Maureen's like, yep, that's a problem. Don't take him to the tower. We don't want any of my sisters don't to hear about anyone. this. Because they're bitches. We also find out that Rand and Matt are also in the city. Yeah. But like, Maureen is not telling Rand and Matt that Egwene and Perrin are there and not telling Egwene and Perrin that Rand and Matt are there. She's like, I have people watching the search. I have it on good authority that they're here. Authority. And yeah. that's exactly her voice. She talks exactly like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. That's how I heard it. That's how I heard it. I don't like what so I've become. So then she's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then she's like. So then she goes and she finds like Rand and Rand like pulls his sword out on her because you know he's feeling a little like hero complex and shit. You can't have him. And Land's like, get on the ground, bitch. And then he Rand's like starts fucking him from behind bitch. and biting the pillow. And then meanwhile, Matt's like, I'm sick. And Moraine's like, you stupid boy. And then she finds out that it's actually the dagger and not the perineum of Saigene, the taint, yeah. as the kids call it, the perineum. So then she like pulls out like this taint. Is it, that's also a stanky taint. Yeah. Is this one called a taint? Because apparently they're changing the name of the taint to the corruption in this. Show. I get it because cleansing the taint is what I do every night in the bathtub. You gotta do it. I mean, honey, if you're doing oral sex, it's just common courtesy. Anyway, so she cleanses Matt of the taint, but apparently it's not the taint. It just looks exactly like it. It's the Mashadar. And it goes like shit. over her mouth. Yeah, for some reason That's it like symbolic. sucks into her mouth and she's like, I don't like you. So she spits it out and then the dagger falls to the floor and we still know nothing about it because they haven't given us that much exposition There's in the show yet. enough room to breathe. This no. Things are starting to go downhill a little bit at this point because I was really enjoying myself and then I'm just a bit confused. So And it's not because I had drank half a bottle. No, but Moraine goes home after a long day of work yeah. taking the corruption yeah. out of some stupid boy. Yeah. She goes home, and she, she gets needs, in her she needs, she needs release too. And she is yeah, in a very structured nightgown, which I feel like Moraine is very type A, so that fits. So she's in a very structured uh, menswear inspired nightgown. And Lan comes in, he's like, You better strap on. And she's like, Yeah, I know, I was there. And he's like, Why, Moraine? She's like, Because I'm gonna go do stuff and I don't, you need to focus on the kids. And he's like, he's like, I was hoping to get off on it too. I know, I was going to go jack off in the worst quarters, but you won't let me now. And she's like, sorry, I'm going to fuck my girlfriend. So she sends him on his merry way. And then she goes up to the magical porter, portal in her room and she fingers it as such. She was like this. There's, it looks like two, but there's actually three for her there's pleasure. There's a secret third hidden. Behind. There's third. And she made sure to cut her nails, which I appreciate. Because I don't trust lesbian porn where they have long nails. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. So the accuracy. That's why she's sitting at her vanity. She's clipping these two nails. So she goes through this way gate. For some, no, for some reason there's a fucking like gateway. Not a way gate. It's a gateway. What the fuck is this? She goes through a gateway for some reason into what looks like tear. It looks like swans. Burn down home, but Childhood apparently it's like home fine. That's not burned down anymore. And then you look and you see Swan. She's got her hair all down like a sexy librarian. I mean, 
And she's they got could this go house. fuck in a palace, but for some reason they're like, let's go fuck in some hut in Tear. Yeah. So she goes to Tear, I guess, and there's a big old plot hole, but they fill it with their fingers. So they it basically, Ooh, Maureen's like, like, someone's like, why did you make me so make such an ass of myself? And Maureen's like, I didn't do that. On your knees. Yeah, so they kiss, and she's like, on and, your knees. And, that's, like, I and then I came, and, and I didn't know the end of that episode. Because the rest the of it was of stupid. So, that's the end. they fuck, and then they talk about some exposition. And then I don't care. Because the rest of the episode is absolute trash. For some reason, like, Wayne and Nynaeve go into the Hall of the fucking Tower, which is just Why? unacceptable to me. Why? They go Why in there. Why in the fucking hall? It's what, we just invite anyone in the hall now? Yeah, exactly. Anyone? The Amberlynn has to be summoned him, but hey, anyone can just fucking walk in there whenever they feel yeah, like it. Yeah, so they talk, and we're in like, this is the Hall of the Tower. I hope you like it. There's the Amberlynn seat right there. And no, it's not confusing that we call that the Emerlin seat. You have to give it that exposition. So then she's like, oh, but let's go actually see the actual Emerlin in her room when she's just like vibing. And they go yeah, in her room. Because I don't want you to confuse a person with a fucking chair. Wait. So Wait. when we actually go Wait. to Swan's Wait. room, it doesn't look like Tear. So they must actually be in Tear when they go fuck. Yeah, this does not look like tear. This, this does doesn't look, look like, like a fashion hut. hut. They they went specifically to go fuck. That's a big old plot hole it's a that fuck you can't hut. fill with three fingers. It's a fuck hut. It's a fuck hut. Fuck. Actually, okay, so... <laughs> so, okay, so after they had sex, I blacked out, but then they talk about, like, Oh no, we've had this scheme going for years and we have to make sure that it's gonna go through. And Swan's like, okay. Oh wait, we already skipped that part. So then Egwene, oh no, no, no. Egwene and Nynaeve are standing in the Amarlin's room and the Amarlin's like, hey, I think the you're the most like, important channeler of the whole age. And Egwene's like, thank and you. And Egwene's like, Egwene's like, thank you. And then she's yeah, like, Nynaeve, Almera. Mm -hmm. And Nynaeve's like, Stop blowing smoke in my ass, bitch! And, I, and Gwen's like, and like Gwen's <laughs> jaw is like on the floor, like. Oh, and thank you for bringing back my trinkets for my sisters. And Gwen's like, okay. So, can you imagine people watching this on YouTube? <laughs> and this is so stupid. I'm so glad we're doing this. So anyway, um. Wait, she already healed Matt, right? She did. Okay, so then they talk, and then she goes for some reason to talk. No, she's standing out on the balcony, and she's like, I'm important. I'm Maureen Sedai. And then Loyal comes up, and she's like, hello, builder. And Loyal, who is the best fucking character so Loyal far. Loyal is just outstanding. He's just so good. He is the wig. So the wig has its good. moments, but... He as a character, if I'm not let's looking not, at him, let's not look at him. But in he's terms beautiful. Of acting, he's spectacular. Their wigs are really improving. Him. They're they're doing their they're they're trying. The wigs were better in this episode. The wigs. There was, was improvement. Great. They went to DragCon. They took the advice. They hired Blair Sinclair, and they know what they're doing now. Yeah. Does Blair Sinclair make shit wigs? <laughs> I need to watch Drag Race. Okay. Okay. So then, <clears throat> so then, um, yeah, so then Loyal comes and I guess there's like some kind of like, oh, we need to do something and we need your help for it, but we don't really know what it is. We don't is know what it is, but you need to be there. I don't know what it is. You have to be about. there. And he's like, be there. okay. Okay. So the Maureen said I. Maureen said Loyal is just, he's just that guy who's just like, yeah, sure, let's do it. I don't know. But while Maureen and Swan are having sex, she's like, you have to sentence me to exile. And Swan's like, why? Yes. And Maureen's like, because my dad wants me to stay in the tower and I need to leave. And the only way the I can- The head of the blue wants me to stay in the tower. Yeah, and she's the head of yeah. the blue, but nobody knows that, but we do. So she needs me to stay in the tower, but you're the only one who can overrule her. So you need to send me out. 
So the next scene is them in the tower and Swan's like, we're in to die. You've been a naughty girl, so I'm not gonna spank you. I'm gonna exile you from the tower. And then for some fucking reason, they bring out the oath rod. No. Which I'm not okay, I'm not okay with. No. That's not acceptable. And she's like, you're gonna swear filthy to me on this fucking oath rod, which is not what we she use it says, for. She says, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you swear fealty to the Omerlin seat, and Maureen switches it around. She turns it around, honey. Turn it around. And she says, I swear to Suwan Sanchez that I will not return until you call me. Which which, which means tragic. if which means if you don't call me bitch, I ain't coming back. Yeah. So basically she's banished from her home forever. They have a tender moment of touching penises under the oath rod. And for some reason they don't hear like, my clever is a pike, strong as the tides. Like The who doesn't hear that? I feel like that's a little creepy when your fuck buddy says the same things that your dad used to tell you. It would be... Anyway, yeah, that's kind of a red it's flag. It's a little for weird. Me. So it's a red flag. This is this is just kind of the culmination of what this episode is to me. So um, it's gone we, weird, right? It's getting weird. weird. Like we were fine, and then we were not. It fine. started getting weird. So Maureen st- gets on her horse. Oh no no no! no wait, I forgot. She so gets exiled. She stands up, and then everybody turns their backs on them. And then Alana's dun, like, dun, 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 I'm reluctant, dun, 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 dun. but I'll turn my back on you. And so she's fully banished, so she can never go back to the tower until Suwan Sanche, the Watcher of Tarval, and the Flame, the, the Watcher of the Seals, the Flame of Tarval, and the Oberlin fucking seat. How do I not know this? Clever one? as a pike, clever but we as can't a pike. test that. So we don't know how clever the pike is. Because the tests are so I mean, racist. So yes. she is like, oh, it's sad, but she's mostly sad because she can't see her girlfriend anymore because they haven't seen each other in two weeks and they just had one night of sex and then they didn't see each other for an, ever again. And then Maureen walks off and she gets on her horse and she drives her horse, she drives her horse to this big edifice in the middle of a field. Nobody noticed it. And they drive to the field. Did anyone know that was there? And she's like, are they coming? And Lan's like, yeah, yes. And then you see a bunch they of They all people turn come. up. Yeah. They all turn up and they're all like, oh, hey, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, my God, I knew I'd find you again. Oh, my God. Ah! And then, and then they let the fucking horses go, but they forgot to take the shit yeah. off the horses. The horses have, like, fully loaded panniers. And she's just like, all right, so the horses. And Lan has, like, a terrible moment with this horse man arm. He's like... I love you, man. I love you so much. I love you, man. I'm gonna see you later. And then they'll inexplicably be in Shinar, but whatever. So <clears throat> he slaps her ass and calls her Mandar, but she he wanders off. And then all the horses leave. And Barney's like, Can I still change my mind? And they're I don't like, really want to go. They're like, No, you can't. You need to go through this. And then And then Barney is like played on a loop. Yeah, it's like a Hanna Barbera cartoon. It just it just cycles the same expressions, and he's just like yeah. So and then they like and then Moraine like channels to open this like big bulky styrofoam gate, which apparently is something that happens. Apparently, you can open a way gate with the one power. Which makes the whole plot. But it's of not. The she's. But she also is like doing tai chi. Is she like? Yeah, she's like. So, she's really good with those finger movements. I am. That's why one. she got. That's, that's why, why she, she pulled the Amaralyn C. <laughs> yes. So mystery she solved. She like opens the way gate, but it can't keep it open, and Matt's just standing there. And everybody's like, come on, Matt, let's get in the way gate. Let's go in this terrifying area. And he's like, nah. Nah. Um. And and then it closes. Oh, plans. And then the episode ends. And that's the last time we see Barney Harris. I don't think we're going to see him again. And I'm gutted because he was one of the best Harris in this fucking show. Barney Harris is so good. He's so good. I'm so sad we're losing him. 
That Aiden guy, ha I'm assuming his name is Aiden, right? I don't know. He's Irish. So Irish Aiden? It's Aiden. Every white Aiden guy under 50 is named Aiden. So he has big shoes to fill, but he really does I'm have gonna big shoes. Pour to fill. one out for Barney Harris and that coffin. That was a great arc. I really appreciate you. I wish you could have done more with it. I need more wine. I'm gutted because, um, yeah, you were elite level. I. I did not like this episode. It was very cobbled together. Aside from I liked the, this episode up until they blew my fucking brains out with the... Because uh, apparently then, gateways are a thing. But yeah, and I was okay with the idea if it was like Talana Riyadh and then no, it's a fucking gateway and I'm like... Yeah, no, it's not. Amazon actually no. said outright it was a gateway. I'm not okay If it's that. a gateway, then what's the fucking point in the way gate? Gateway and way gate. Did you ever make that connection? It's the reverse. This has been water and shade. It was a really bad episode. So watch all that stuff. Watch, watch the show and then watch us watching the show and then watch us watching recapping the show when we're really wasted after we've been spending 45 minutes getting really drunk watching the show and we'll recap yeah. it for you and if then you can go on our discord and talk about how stupid we are and then you can buy our merchandise and give us money because we're poor but in return we might dress up like a hot dog over christmas for you i need to buy a hot dog costume this this is the worst we've ever been <laughs>